We need to stop having conversations about money with people who don't make money. What's good cousins and how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. Thank you so much for tuning in and welcome back again on another episode. This particular episode is another podcast of a particular statement that isn't sitting well with a bunch of people. So in this podcast, this lady mentioned the fact that, you know, black people are the only one who talk about money in the relationship and like other people do not talk about money they already know that you know the men are the breadwinner and the woman is just to stay at home and take care of the home like you know stay at home wife stay at home mom like the men already know that they had to bring the money to the home so this particular statement does not sit well with a lot of people and it has sparked some conversation online because some people were like you're so wrong some people were coming in with the fact that they have never had about all these money conversations and relationship until you know they got used to the media you know they only see it on social media it's never been a thing for them but surely their men are raised to be providers you know to bring the money home and their women are you know raised to you know take care of the house stay in the house you guys know those traditional things but by the time you guys see the video you will know why so without wasting much time let me roll the clip black people are the only people that talk about money in relationships it's crazy because other cultures just know the man is going to be the caretaker or the the provider like other cultures just know that but when i say it in the comments like that's because what the fuck you, this lazy bitch what's she talking about so what? every other culture understands the man is the provider and the woman is a nurturer that's not even a conversation that they have because they already know it they grow up knowing that yeah. black people are the only people that see our moms do more than our dads and so we have a reverse thinking about it we think Oh, well, my mom did it so I could do it. Or my mom did it so she can do it. That's why so many black women are unmarried because we don't have roles. Gender roles are not a bad thing in marriage. Everyone needs to have their... If I don't know my role, how do I know what part I'm playing in anything? For sure. Every, when you're on a basketball team, everybody has their position. Everybody has their role. You need to know what your role is. And a woman's role is the nurturer. And if you have kids, the caregiver. And the man's role is the provider. And he brings in the money. He brings in the money and the woman manages it. And that's how the household is supposed to run. The lack of tradition in black culture is killing relationships. That's the main thing. Black people are the only people that talk about money in relationships. It's crazy. Because other Why do we feel the need to use other cultures as reference points to where we should be as a community? Cultures that did not endure what we endured. Other cultures probably have that shit figured out because they had an opportunity to figure it out. Mind you, black people, before they became black people in America, had their own way of running the family structure from their own motherland home country. And when they were brought here, whatever semblance of family that they could muster up was dismantled and taken from them. It was like this desperation to adhere to a tradition that we were purposefully excluded from instead of finding ways to heal all the trauma that trying to fit under white patriarchy caused us. Don't heal from white patriarchy by trying to conform to white patriarchy. Black people are the only people that talk about money in relationships. I always tell people, especially black people, do what you feel is right in the relationship. Do not take any advice from social media or from people that are going to just try to destroy you and your partner's relationship. If you feel like you want to be a nurturer as a woman and you want a man to pay for all the bills, trust me, you'll find a man that will pay the bills and you could be the nurturer. Or if you know, if you want a man that goes 50-50 right with you in terms of bills, trust me, you'll find a man that's able to do it or is willing to do that. I think people need to understand that do what you feel is right in your relationship. Don't let someone manipulate or try to make you do something that you don't feel comfortable doing in your relationship. That's all I gotta say. Also, whether it's traditional or modern lifestyle, do what makes you happy and make sure your partner is happy with that as well. That's it, that's all. Black people are the only people that talk about money in relationships. It's crazy. Because other you can't have an opinion about what only black people talk about if you only ever talk to black people. The entire Western world has been having conversations about money, especially as it becomes more necessary to have two incomes in your household, combined with the fact that we've been talking about feminism seriously for the past, what, 10, 20 years and beyond? Even the Muslim community is having conversations about how much matter should be, considering the fact that now women are making as much money as men, if not more sometimes. What is this, reason number 225 to take away podcasts equipment from black people? Like, what are we talking about? There are plenty of things that only black people talk about, and this is why we get so annoyed at black podcasts. Um, this is not one of them, and I'm not going to let somebody add something else to the list that should not belong there. 
black people are the only people that talk about money in relationships. It's crazy. Because other This video is really interesting because she says that in other cultures, the man is the breadwinner and the woman is the stay-at-home mom. So I wanted to talk about my experience as a Vietnamese American growing up in a low-income family in America. Growing up, most of the Vietnamese American families that I knew, whether that was my own family, my aunts and uncles, or the families I knew from church, both parents were working. And in my family, my mom was the primary breadwinner and caregiver for the household, while my dad was working really hard but was only making about minimum wage. Now I bring all this up because in her video she says that other cultures follow traditional gender roles but in my belief, I think that only works if one of the parents, either the mom or the dad, makes enough income to actually support the entire family. I think a better way to look at this is low income versus high income compared to looking at the culture of the family. Because if you grew up in a low income family, most likely your parents were both working in order to survive and feed your family compared to a high income family where one parent makes enough income in order to take care of all the living expenses and the other parent can stay at home with the kids. With all that being said, I think her video is a good reminder to us that you should be in a relationship with another person that has the same value as you. What I mean is that if you desire to be a stay at home mom or dad, you need a partner that has the same value as you and is willing to be the breadwinner for the family. On the other hand, if you want to be in a relationship where both partners contribute financially to the relationship, then you need to find someone else with that same value. If we start talking about finances openly and effectively communicating it with our partners, I think that divorce rates and relationship failures would go down. Again, this is just based on my experience and the culture that I grew up in, so I wanted to share it. Thanks for watching. Black people are the only people that talk about money in relationships it's crazy because other i feel like she needs to be a bit more specific and say african-american men not all black men because honestly i did not even know that that was a thing until i moved to the states and the internet aside from that i did not know that this thing even exists so i stand to be corrected Maybe there are other countries where black men are expecting women to go 50-50 or they're expecting women to pay half on a date. But quite frankly, it was a foreign concept to me. I genuinely didn't know this thing exists until the internet and I lived in the States. So you guys are teaching us new things. This is, is not a thing that I am aware of in my country, in South African cultures. But again, I stand to be corrected. Black people are the only people that talk about money in relationships. It's crazy. Because other This is absolutely one of those conversations that I am utterly tired of hearing people talk about. Because for one thing, y'all are clearly in an echo chamber. Y'all don't spend time with other cultures. You don't even you don't even have to spend physical time with other cultures. You just have to get online and get into other women's algorithms so y'all can see what's going on in other people's community there are absolutely cultures where it is 100 percent normal for the men to be paying all the bills but when y'all make arguments about wanting y'all's bills paid do y'all even know why do you know why you're tired do you know why you want someone to pay your bills do you think about what price that is costing the person who you want to solicit to pay your bills. Lifestyle actually absolutely works for people who go into it knowing what it is. This is the thing about black people, especially people in America, because for one thing, the average white American woman is not having her bills paid. And I don't know why y'all are running around thinking that the average white woman in America is having all of her bills paid while she sit around in Lululemon going to yoga classes at 10 in the morning. Um, 
while her kids are being watched at home with the nanny. I think this is how the average black person think the average white woman's life is like, and it's not. They're at work with us. I watched them year after year after year birth multiple babies and are back before I can even blink my eye as if they didn't even just give birth a month and a half, two months ago. Let's consider the culture that is America. Let's consider what it means to be American. Then I want y'all to loop back around to why the average person cannot have their bills paid. Also, in a patriarchal society that's based off of controlling women, why do y'all want y'all's bills paid? Like at some point, y'all have to choose. You can't say you want your bills paid, but also want certain levels of freedom. You're not going to get that with the male species, period. Now, in a patriarchal society, absolutely, if you're heterosexual and you date cis hetero men, you need to be getting the most bang for your buck and you don't need to be paying bills. You also need to be going into this knowing and understanding the full scope of this kind of dynamic in this kind of relationship. And I don't think people stop and do that kind of work. And someone is paying all of your bills and when you are relying on someone for your fiscal needs you lose a certain level of autonomy period i don't want to hear about the you know few non-average cases of men who allow their stay-at-home wives or stay-at-home mothers to just do whatever she want to do she don't have to cook she don't have to clean she have a nanny like most people aren't living like this so when somebody is working all the time enough to pay all of their bills and all of yours you need to understand that you what you're giving up when you ask for something like that if i ever decided to be in a relationship with a, a cis hetero man within a patriarchy he absolutely will pay my bills and if he can't then we're not going to be in a relationship of any kind but the type of dynamic i would need most men aren't willing to get so that's not something that I'm aren't willing to give so that's not really something that I ever actually hope or aspire or look to actually happen if it fell on my lap by happenstance great otherwise I'm not actually looking for it and this conversation is really old because I think what women are looking for and what they really desire is actually very different from what they think they're asking for or what they're being told they should ask for. When y'all, when I see videos of, you know, women in countries like Dubai and in even certain African countries and different places who say, oh, this is our cultural norm, especially as an American, y'all need to understand that these women are, I don't give a damn what they say. They are in a patriarchy. They are giving up certain levels of freedom that American women are very much accustomed to. And you're lying to yourself if you think it's all sunshine and roses and rainbows and fields of lilies being fiscally dependent on another person, especially on a cis hetero male. Y'all are comparing certain cultures, especially Muslim and Middle Eastern cultures and stuff like that in countries where women can't even walk in front of their man. They can't even raise their voice at a man. They can't even wear, show their kneecaps. Y'all think y'all want that? In a country that suppresses women so much, I, I don't want to hear about, oh, that's not what has happened. It's freedom of choice. No, 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 no. Nine times out of ten, people don't actually know what freedom of choice actually means. When you've been conditioned into something your entire life and the generations before you have been conditioned in the same thing, it's not a choice, baby. You're not doing it for freedom of choice or a feminist movement. You don't. It's conditioning. OK, and a lot of people don't understand that it's not actually freedom of choice. They don't understand how conditioning really works. So y'all in America, a lot of American women, especially black American women, are idolizing these things. They don't even fully understand. I don't care what these women tell you. It's common sense. If somebody is financially taking responsibility for you, they want something in return, 
period. And a lot of that revolves around their ability to control your ins and outs, your goings and comings, how you look, how you dress. And even if they don't, there is you are going to give up a certain amount of freedom when somebody else is flipping the bill period and i don't care what these women tell y'all you need to if you if this is the type of lifestyle that you want you need to go into it being smart don't expect a whole lot of that man's time don't expect a whole lot of love and energy to be given. see people want a bunch of stuff that they don't really put critical thought into somebody got online and told y'all that a man need to be paying all y'all bills and it sounded good because you don't really want to work don't none of us want to work but what do you value somebody paying your bills the price of freedom that's okay if it is do whatever you want to do is your life but women need to start understanding it and being a hundred percent and honest with what it is that they're asking for and what it is that they're calling in well, y'all need to do y'all home what do you guys think about what they all said i'd like to hear your thoughts in the comment section that video actually went viral i think it's about a million plus views and over like close to eight thousand comments as well and you know yeah some people agree with some parts of what she said while some people said the mm, fact that you think other people don't talk about money is crazy because they actually do and in the reality of the world we live in today where just having one person bringing in the the income can be a little bit difficult on running your day-to-day -day life as a family person that might not be the reality of so many homes today we all know how the world is things are very expensive things are getting way bad and you know just one person bringing in the bringing in the income i put a lot of load on them and having two people you know bringing income can still leave room for flexibility and when we look about the conversation of relationships that we are having or we are coming across on social media these days almost like everybody wants to leave their role nobody literally wants to perform their role relationship advice on social media is just mm, not there you have to know what works for you and do what works for you and even though this conversation has been flying around there are still people who get into a relationship without even having to have this type of conversation because the man automatically knows that they are supposed to be the one to bring in the income and no story no no conversation no drags about that and i check in the comment section a lot of people actually agree with her i think the only part that a lot of people do not agree with her is the part where she said black people are the only one who have this money talk in relationship i as well disagree with her saying black people are the only one who have conversation about money these other people have conversation about money too it's just that this podcast and you know these topics they bring online that spreads to everyone is conversation of what do you bring to the table what are you bringing to the table if a man does this if a man does that i'm just happy that we are far gone from that era of what do you bring to the table or let me say it has been rebranded because there was a particular time the conversations on podcasts are not more than what do you bring to the table, what are you doing, every single thing a woman can do, a man can pay for it, it can be sorted, at the end of the day a woman does not bring anything to the table, it's exhausting. But I would like to hear what you guys think about what she said in the comment section. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for joining. Please do not forget to subscribe before you go and turn your bell notification on as well and I am definitely going to talk to you guys in the next one. Bye and I love you all.